was talking to Paul earlier. What would you like me to search for? What do you think? You know, something sweet, something spicy. Uh, what do you want? And the first thing he said was something uh, uh, bright and herbaceous. Oh, okay. Well, I know just the thing. Wild mint. Mentha arvensis. Now, spearmint and peppermint are actually European introductions to North America. But wild mint, this is all our own. With the mint family, they literally have square stems. It's really pretty crazy. It's like little tiny 4x4s. And the stem is super square. Hard not to recognize it. I'm scratching my head on something here. This one seems different than the others. But it almost seems identical at the same time. And then I, I put the leaves together. And that's not even the same leaf. And then I, I, I crushed it and I'm smelling it. Oh yeah, that, that smells like wild mint. But I want to try something. Uh, without any power of suggestion, Kevin, take a, take a, just take some leaves and crush them up and smell them for me, would you? Tell me what you smell. Mm, it's got a fresh spiciness to it, it's not mint. It's got the square stem, it's got the leaf formation. You know what the problem was? My fingers are covered with oils from the actual wild mint. It's not poisonous, it's not problematic, but it's not the plant I want. Paul's gonna love this. This is bright and herbaceous, if you ask me. Uh, you know what? In fact, this stuff is so good. Take Robert Rogers' knife that he lent me and get just a couple more. Speaking of identifying plants, there is a plant just behind me here, just over there. One of the most dangerous, most poisonous plants, not only in Canada, but in the world. This is one of the most poisonous plants on the planet. It's water hemlock. And some telltale signs, the serrated leaves, these umbel-like flower tops. Now, this is a wet area, and that's where water hemlock likes to grow. That's also uh, where the uh, wild mint likes to grow. And that's the, the important thing to take into consideration for plant identification as well. It's not just the flowers, the leaves, the configuration of the leaves and the stem and so on. It's also, where are you? With water hemlock? See, even in like this, Kevin doesn't want me to even touch it actually. Because, ah, because all I would have to do is nibble on these three leaves right here. That's enough to kill me. And I'm not being dramatic. It's literally enough to kill me just to nibble a bit on that plant. So, that's a very poisonous plant. Water hemlock, I'm staying away from you. I'll stick to the wild mint.